Good Friday is a difficult day. It's hard. We know it is good because God triumphs, because Christ gave his all for us. But it is never easy to face death, to bear witness to the suffering and pain of another. Jesus crucified. I remember when I was younger, there was a movie that came out, The Passion of Christ, and I never could get myself to watch it. I heard that the scene of Good Friday was horrific. It was realistic. And many of us cannot face that kind of suffering. Even reading the scriptures, I'm tempted to skim Oh, I know about the floggings, and oh, I know about the crown of thorns. But these sufferings, many of his followers fled. They could not walk with Christ to the cross. I imagine that the same is true today when we think about the suffering in the world. Many of us have comforts. I know that I am blessed to still have this job, the support of, of our congregation to allow me and my family to continue with employment while so many are un unemployed. I am blessed that no one in my family has as of yet come down with the coronavirus. And yet there are others who suffer this horrible, horrible disease, whether they die or live, whether they suffer at home or on a ventilator in the ICU. On this Good Friday, we recognize the pain and suffering and we pray that we have the strength to not turn away, but to bear witness to our neighbors, people, across the state, across the country, and around the world who are suffering and dying because we have the strength of Jesus who first suffered and died for each of them and for each of us. Let us pray. God of the cross, God of Holy Week, God, we come to you today asking for your strength that we may not turn away, but that we may bear witness to the suffering of Christ and the suffering of our world, that no one must suffer alone and all may be comforted in the assurance that Christ knows our pain and will guide us to new life, to resurrection hope, and a new future in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Salvation's wondrous blessing.